It's been a minute, hasn't it? Welcome to the Battle Zone. The following contest is scheduled for five falls because it is a stick way scramble match for the American Wrestling League Canadian National Championship. Introducing first, making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, the Spirit Dragon General. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our final preseason match of season 21, and we're going to be crowning a new Canadian national champion. But first out is the Spirit Dragon Shenron, noticeably less colorful than we're used to him being. We haven't seen Shenron in a while here in the AWL, so I'm kind of curious. What's with this new look? Black mask? Lack of light? Lack of video? Just our, our, our default video playing up there. I don't know what's going on with this guy. But he looks ready for action one way or the other, and he's going to get plenty of it. Five opponents tonight. Yeah, we'll, we'll work on the on the background. Introducing next, making his way to the ring from the unified school of the Tiger style, the third generation, the Tiger Mask Three. TM3, one half of the Tiger Brothers who you saw compete in the Forge the Four Tournament Danshi Division. And honestly, didn't do as well as I thought they would do. Third place in the tournament, third rank in the AWL Best Four. But right now, a rare opportunity for Tiger Mask 3 to stand on his own. Singles competition, a singles championship in the offing for Tiger Mask 3. And I should point out the six wrestlers in this match are the six best win-loss records in AWL Strong and Free that are not either currently champion or currently in the best four. So everybody here is in this match by merit of their win-loss records. Introducing next, making his way to ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota by way of Las Vegas, Nevada. One half of the new classics. The Technical Wizard, Lee Masters! Now, there's several people in this match that are known primarily as Tag Team Specialists, but that doesn't really matter in the AWL because your overall win-loss record is individual. And now for the one title he's never held. Introducing next, making his withering from New York City, New York, is an AWL Grand Slam Champion, the Arab American Dream, Paul Saul! Pretty much the only American the Canadian fans don't boo out of the damn building. AWL Grand Champion, AWL World's Tag Team Champion with multiple partners, New Year's Tournament Champion, Original Intercontinental Champion, Grand Slam. But there is one title and one title only that this man has never held in the Animated Wrestling League. He fights for it tonight. The Canadian National Championship, our youngest title. And he's going for that big, beautiful Canadian belt. Oh, have we heard this music before? There's a reason for that. Introducing next, making his wimbering from Brooklyn, New York. He is one half of the new classics. The Stuplex Master, Sammy Nix. And you read that t-shirt correctly, ladies and gentlemen. 20 years of mastery. Sammy Nick's currently celebrating his 20th year as an active professional wrestler, and he has been the Stuplex Master that entire time. One of the most consistent performers in AWL history, a former New Year's Tournament winner, multi-time tag team champion. Of course, he and Lee Masters hold the record for most tag team title reigns of a single duo. And finally, making his whippering from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, 
He has maple syrup in his veins, and he craps poutine. He's the most Canadian man in the world. the full Kate Canada intro in a while and it he had to get it out of his system. Alright, 20 minutes on the clock. Five falls to a finish. All six men in the ring at the same time. Elimination by pinfall sub or submission. Other than that, pretty much anything goes in this six-way scramble match. Last man standing is the Canadian national champion and he will have to defend the Canadian National Championship against anyone he did not make submit or he did not pin in this match. So there are second chances abounding because sometimes when you come to Canada, you get a second chance at life. Of course, that's the role of the Intercontinental title as well. And immediately we are seeing partner on partner violence. And I don't mean that in a negative way. Tag team partners are gonna have to fight each other here. It's inevitable. Beautiful knee strike by Lee Master going for. I think we're targeting Tiger Mask 3 here, the least experienced singles competitor in this match, I think. Ooh, German suplex. I'm sorry, I should probably call it Canadian suplex. Actually, no, I won't, because there's so many Canadian things here. The Canadians don't need to take over anything that isn't theirs. There's a dragon suplex by the suplex master Sammy Nix. Irish whip off of the ropes, and oh, this is why these are so dangerous. Lee Masters tries to whip kick, um, tries to whip Hassan, but gets a head scissors from Tiger Mask 3 as soon as his back is turned. Nice takedown by Tiger Mask 3, throwing that strong Lucha style, known as the unified school of the Tiger style, the Tiger style itself. A mixture of the Japanese strong style, a little, little sprinkling of the King's Road, and a whole lot of Lucha Libre. Ooh, Canadian Crunch by Kate Cannon on his own tag team partner. T49P exploding, ladies and gentlemen, but only for a two count. Brain Busta, or a vertical suplex, they call it in the web. Belly to belly block. Do a nice takedown, but there's a belly to belly slam. That's how it's supposed to look. Kid Canada eating a DDT. Now, Kid Canada is going to have a little bit of extra pressure on him tonight because Amy Wade, the true Toronto star, just cashed in. Hang on, only a two count. Amy Wade, the true Toronto star, just cashed in the Canadian National Championship at the end of last season to become the AWL Joshi champion. So there's a little bit of Canadian pride here. You want the, uh, well, at least Kate Canada, wants the belt to go from Canadian wrestler to Canadian wrestler. It's a Canadian belt. So that makes sense. But everybody else wants it. Hassan wants it because it's the only title he's never had. And everybody else, sorry, both of the uh, new classics want it because they want singles opportunities, singles glory. Same with Tiger Mask 3. He's felt like he's been in Black Tiger Justice's shadow ever since Black Tiger Justice became the grand champion. And there's a legitimate argument for that. So a singles title of his own, that would put him on at least a, more of a level pegging. And a paradigm shift for the master of the paradigm shift, the Arab American babyface. And he was calling that a paradigm shift a lot, a lot long, a long time, I should say, before... John Moxley used his move and called it the Paradigm Shift. Ooh, famous sir by hit by uh, Tiger Mask Three Shenron in the new black outfit. I don't know why Shenron necessarily wants to be the Canadian national champion specifically, but hey, any opportunity, any paid opportunity, any chance to rise, raise your stock in the world of professional wrestling. The master of motion, the physics defined Shenron will take it. But he's known for his blue and white color scheme, his colorful entrance. I don't know what's going on with Shannon right now. Hopefully we'll find out more as season 21 of the Animated Wrestling League uh, progresses on wines on furls as we go. Hang on, two. Kick out by Sammy Nix. The camera focuses on the big move. 
Manhattan drop from the New Yorker. I always forget which one's the Manhattan drop, which one's the atomic drop. They should both be disqualifications. Brain buster, vertical suplex, call it what you like, belly to belly slap. Belly to belly overhead, really suplex, standing position. God, he is so good at this. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. And hang on, cover here. One, two, three. Elimination. Hassan eliminates. Five minutes have elapsed. Fifteen remain. Tiger Moss three has been eliminated. Yes, Hassan has eliminated Tiger Mask three. That means if anybody other than Hassan wins this match, Tiger Mask three has an opportunity for a Canadian National Championship shot upcoming. Hard right hand by Sammy Nix to his own tag team partner. These two have fought each other before. They know how that works, but we just now have two intact tag teams and Shenra. And this is where the match is going to And Yeah, Tiger Mask 3 looking dejected on his way out of the arena. I don't blame him. Going for this, the third head of the Chimera. Chimera plexed. One, two, kick out. That was the move that won. That was the move that won Sammy Nix, the AWL New Year's Tournament back in 2017. Taking a look at my records here, we do have two, yes, and only two Canadian, uh-oh, Canadian Destroyer! Kid Canada with the one, two, and somehow the kick out is Paradigm Shift, Paradigm Shift on Lee Masters. One, two, this is for a championship. This is for all the marbles. This is for the road less taken. Remember the rules of the CNC. Five successful title defenses and you can cash in for a championship match, for a grand championship match in this case, under the stipulations of your choosing. It is power over your own destiny. As you can see, it's a tough belt to get. It's a tougher belt to hang on to. But the Canadian National Championship, it is your chance to skip the line and become Grand Champion. That's what it's all about here in the Animated Wrestling League. We have one champion, one AWL Grand Champion, one top prize in all of professional wrestling. We don't need to make up consolidation prize belts. Chimeraplex on the dragon, mythological monster to mythological monster, but it's only good for two. Couple of hard shots. The Canadian to the American. And I just realized we've got four Americans and one Canadian in this match. Brooklyn, New, is our, uh, New York City, Brook uh, two New Yorkers actually. Two New Yorkers, one Minnesotan now living in Las Vegas when he's not here doing his job. And of course the Georgian representing the blue dot and a red schmear. And that would be Shenron, the Spirit Dragon. Big drop kick. Though he is an internationally traveled wrestler. One, two, slow count by the referee. And somebody's bleeding, I'm not sure who. I think it might be Kid Canada. At least one USA sign in the crowd, that's a little disturbing. Dragon Twist in the GTA, the Greater Toronto Area, where we have the AWL Battle Zone. Okay, the referee slow as hell today. Senior official Joey Babaganoush of the famous Babaganoush Wrestling Family has taken some blows tonight. So I don't know what's going on with him. But counting very, very slowly, it might behoove these wrestlers to go for some submission holds here. Ooh! Hey, I think it was like a Cobra Clutch Suplex. I'm not sure what the hell that was. Rear naked choke from the mixed martial artist. And a quick tap out by his tag team Sunny partner. Has been eliminated!
And that, that gives credence to my hypothesis. That the submission right now is your best weapon. And that puts Lee Masters in a good position. Dragon Twist. Rolls into the cover. One, two, three. Wait a minute, I stand corrected. Lee Masters has been eliminated. Okay. So Hassan has eliminated one. Lee Masters eliminated one. And Shenron eliminated one. Ten remain. Sorry, and Shenron eliminated one. Which means no matter who comes out of this as the Canadian national champion, they will meet people from this match yet again as potential challengers. And the Arab American Dream looking to make a paradigm shift. The Arab American baby face. If it, when's the last time you saw that? One. Two. What is going on with these three counts? Springboard Bulldog by the Master of Motion. We're going to get a similar count here. One, two, three. No, we're not. Hassan has been eliminated. I think we might have a crooked riff here. I mean, I would never say that about Joey Baba Ganoush of the famous Baba Ganoush wrestling family. But we are down to two. Kid Canada and Shenron. One of these men will be a Canadian national champion. Back elbow strike by Kid Canada. Looking to maintain a little Canadian pride, a little hometown, the hometown favorite here. And what the hell is he doing? He's walking right into the Hurricane Run is what he's doing. Maybe he wants his opponent on his feet. I don't know. But a step back from the Enzigiri. Irish whip off of the ropes. Up. Hey, oh! I was going to go for the body drop. It said front drop. Canadian crunch! Canadian crunch! Into the cover off of the Canadian crunch. One, two, three. That does it. Kid Canada, your winner and champion. The Canadian belt stays with the Canadian wrestler. Here is your winner and the new Canadian national champion, Kid Canada! Congratulations to Kid Canada. Yeah, there you see it, ladies and gentlemen. Canadian national championship, the contender's title, the road less traveled. And that just about does it tonight for the eight. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, what what the hell? Oh, Juice Robinson's here. How nice. Well, we saw Switchblade Jay White, the catalyst, make his AWL debut late last season, claiming that AWL Gold was his ticket back to Japan, and he's brought in his fellow AWL, sorry, his fellow AEW competitor, Rock Hard Juice Robinson. And I think the plan here is get him. This is a two-on-one attack. Okay, we're securing. Oh, that's right, we fired that. Budget cut. Damn it. Now, Bullet Club Gold is in the Animated Wrestling League, and we have a Canadian... We have two... Let's see, we've got an American, and uh, I believe... Is he from Australia or New Zealand? At this point, I don't care. Versus Kid Canada, who just wrestled a hellacious six-man elimination match. And he's now having to fight off two guys, and so far he's doing it. Jay White was required to leave Japan in a legally binding contract, losing a match to, I believe it was Hikaleo, and then was drummed out of New Japan Pro Wrestling entirely by the War King, Eddie Kingston. 
And now he wants to get back to Japan because he knows that's where he's influential. That's where he's the boss. That's where he's the star. He wants Bullet Club back. He wants to maintain control of this decade-long legacy of destruction and racism known as the Bullet Club. And the ladder being... Oh! The very Canadian man brought in a very Canadian ladder and took a very American, very Russian leg sweep right on the steel. And Jay White Tope Suicida, but he dives face first into the, into the floor. And somehow still standing. Did we upgrade the mats between seasons? Because that would probably be a good thing. We know that Jay White understands that the AWL Grand Championship and the AWL World Tag Team Championships are interbrand titles, which means if he wants to ever wrestle in Japan again, he needs to win one of those belts in order to be able to travel over to AWL Hontai, and from there, the sky's the limit. But this is not the way to win a championship in the AWL. You win a championship by winning matches, earning opportunities. I and mean, right now, Jay White, he's on the plus side of the roster, technically, but he's got one win and zero losses. He's only had one match in the AWL. It was against Razorwing last season. In his AWL debut, he did win that handily with Blade Runner. But this is not how you jump the line. You work hard, you pay your dues, and yes, you got to pay dues all over again. But right now, he's not jumping the line, he's cutting the line. He thinks, oh, wow. Okay, I'll say it. Impressive athleticism by rock hard Juice Robinson. Jay White can try something stupid. Yelling at the referee, don't you dare try to stop me. Going up. Oh! And I think he hit his own partner. But a glancing blow also to the Canadian national champion. This is ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen. I'm being told that Hassan is being held in the back. He's in the trainer's room. Um, so, I mean, okay. AWL chief medical official, Dr. Marcus Feelgood, says that Hassan has a, a, has sustained a mild injury, and that's why Hassan's not out here helping his tag team partner. As this, but I don't think I don't think he needs it. As Kid Canada introducing the steel, the corrugated metal of the steel steps into the equation here. You want to brawl with the Bullet Club? Bring it. Uh-oh, Jay White now with those hollowed-out steel stairs. They may be hollow, but they hurt. That clang of skull on metal echoing throughout the AWL battle zone here in the Greater Toronto Area, where we will be having our regular season competition starting up very, very soon. We're going to have two shows a week. Once again, AWL Huntai in Japan, AWL Strong and Free here in Canada. Oh, wait a minute, what? Oh, okay, that's, a, that's an incredibly dangerous way to get out of the ring, Juice Robinson, but he's an incredibly dangerous man. Juice Robinson, oh, right into the stairs. Juice Robinson trying to maintain the high ground here. I'm not sure the part, I'm not sure the, the Bullet Club Gold. And now I know why they're called Bullet Club Gold because the point of Bullet Club Gold is to get their hands on AWL Gold. And that's, of course, and that's why Juice Robinson's here. Tag, they want into the tag team best four as well. They're he Jay White is hedging his bets. He's going after the Canadian national champion. He's challenged publicly the grand champion. And now he's brought in a partner to go for the AWL World Tag Team titles. The Catalyst has a plan. He's got backup plans. This is disgusting. Okay, we, okay, I'm being told we are out of time here, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you when the regular season starts up again. Koride kimarida.